Being original can take you a long way. If you don't be you, then who else will? No exaggeration, there seems to be like thousands of social and societal pandemics happening right now. A few more serious than others, but the one that I want to talk about today is a lack of originality. The lack of originality when it comes to music artists always copying other artists, leaving listeners bored and feeling like we're in a constant loop of hearing the same thing over and over and over again with the non-stop sampling. Whatever happened to the producers who could actually sample? There's a lack of originality when it comes to movies, food, and one of the worst of them all, people. I'm sick and tired of seeing these weird white room videos, terrible BBLs, recycled unoriginal and ignorant opinions on Twitter, and this need to just put down the microphone and read. I genuinely think that people are so afraid of being themselves for more reasons than one. Originally, I was at a toss up about what I should title this video and I was also wondering if I should even create this video because it's something different that would allow me to explore my own originality and my own creativity, which is something that I'm not as used to doing as much as I should be. So I was stuck in between creating based on what I feel and creating based on what the algorithm would like. But f the algorithm. Excuse my French. But bending over backwards and compromising your uniqueness for a platform or social and societal standards or external validation just doesn't make sense. I think that that is exactly what people's problem is and why there's such a lack of originality. It's because everybody wants to do something but nobody wants to do it in a way that would guarantee longevity and sincere success that would actually speak for them and who they actually are. Instead, we are conditioned to take examples for other people and just copy and paste what they did and expect to get the same results when really, it never really works that way. And this is why this honestly has to be the most monkey see, monkey do generation ever. Creators like the people you may follow on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram are encouraged to strictly cater to the social media algorithm and the way it works in order to be successful in their lane. This could also apply for music artists being pressured to conform for the industry, which isn't necessarily always a bad thing because there are rules in everything you do, especially if you're relying on marketing and the psychology of people and what they like. But they start to lose themselves in it because they focus too much on what other people want and not enough on what they want. And this is the same thing for the girls who are insecure getting BBLs, people copying personalities and slang, and so on and so forth. Why are people so nosy? <laughs> Digital media in itself is the most effective form of communication when it comes to how fast and how quickly we can relay information to one another and sometimes people can get lost in that because of waves and because of trends. Trends aren't anything new. We participate in trends all the time. Like when we celebrate holidays, seasonal cycles, go shopping for clothes, and when we talk about news and trending topics. All the things that we are used to doing as a collective. I usually see people liking to speak negatively about trends as if trends itself is an issue, when the real issue is in what people do with trends, especially on social media. Like when they decide to shame others for not participating in them or when people start basing their entire personality around something just because it's trendy. Like hypebeast, for example. So earlier when I said forget the algorithm, that doesn't only apply to social media. It could apply to anything. It could be the algorithm of societal standards that you feel pressured to fit into. The algorithm of other people's opinions and personal thoughts about you. Or the algorithm of your own doubts, thoughts, feelings, and fears that hinder you. Originality is important in anything that you do, whether you're a creator or just a regular person doing regular things. Even in your everyday lives, it's important to be original in anything that you do because your uniqueness separates you from the crowd. And I find that being original also gives you a sense of pride, knowing that you could just show up in a room being yourself and the people who vibe with you will vibe with you because they genuinely connect with you and because they genuinely like you, not because they're connecting with the false facade or a character that you're making when you're around them. Don't get me wrong, feeling loved and seen from other people is important and it is a good feeling because of things like community. However, the most important thing from being original and being yourself is the amount of self-liberation and confidence that you receive from it. I would be lying to you if I told you that there weren't points in my life where I struggled with my own originality. How and if I even wanted to express it in this society, in this culture, in this generation, is 
kind of hard not to feel that way. It's kind of hard not to be hesitant to show your uniqueness because there are many, many, many things in place that are used to shame um, quote unquote weird or quirky people or anybody who's just different from the box that society likes to put you in. Like everybody has a personal box that people in their personal lives would like to put them in because that's how they see them. But anytime that they want to do something outside of that, then it becomes an issue. You know, I mean, I don't necessarily feel like I'm weird or quirky or like anybody has like discriminated against me because of anything but what I will say is that what I mean is I'm not really your average 21 year old girl and I have different qualities about me that might separate me from other people who are my age like the fact that I'm an old soul and I have interests that aren't typical for your average 21 year old I have interest in things like the metaphysical um spirituality numerology I like listening to old music I like listening to jazz I like basic stuff that you would never really imagine a 21 year old liking or imagine somebody who looks like me liking it's almost like i'm a 45 year old woman in a 21 year old body and it's something that i can't help i was literally born this way um <laughs> it's something that i felt odd for a lot of times growing up not necessarily because i genuinely felt odd with it but because i let other people make me feel odd with it because they thought it was weird for me to be so I guess mature for my age until I realized that I was created that way for a reason and anything that is unique about you is for your own personal superpower there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing that you need to change about it part of the many 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 reasons why I feel like our generation is so depressed amongst other things is because everybody is comparing themselves to each other because it's so easy for us to see the details of other people's lives without ever actually fully knowing the story. So we'll take the highlight, they'll, they'll take the highlights and post it on social media and then you'll look at your life and you see the full picture of your life and compare it to their highlights when you're not actually seeing the full picture of their life and realizing that they have struggles too. I mean, it's only natural for humans to compare themselves to others. Um, even if it doesn't make sense to do so, it's a natural and it's a human thing. And because of that, don't ever let nobody tell you that that's not something that they ever did in, in an attempt to make you feel bad about doing it because it's not the truth. Everybody's done it. Even if it was only for a split second that they thought about it, everybody has in one way or another compared themselves to another person. But comparison is the thief of joy and it robs you of the confidence in wanting to be original and wanting to be yourself and wanting to show up as yourself. It robs you of the opportunity of being comfortable and creating your own lane. When everybody is walking around doing the same thing and looking the same way, that's when we get things like a boring and talentless music industry and a bunch of IG models with the same body and the same face. It's all bad. The reason that I chose to title this video Be Original is because over the years I've noticed how much a lot of people have an issue with self-identity and an issue with being comfortable enough to be themselves. Not only in my generation, but people from all ages of all walks of life and all different demographics. It's human nature for people to want community and to find somewhere that they may fit in. That's a part of the reason why I think so many people choose to compare themselves. But I know that there's never really anything wrong with taking inspiration from other people. The greatest artists who have ever existed have taken ideas and taken you know little things from other artists there's nothing wrong with being inspired by another person but the key is to not be so into what other people are doing that you feel like you have to copy them that's the difference and since there's nothing new under the sun and if a person does try to remix whatever somebody else is doing you know just add your own sauce to it be original and still be you you know don't be another microwavable rapper don't form your opinions based on what other people think don't buy things just because other people are buying it and definitely don't get a bbl just because that's what you think is hot right now be original it's okay to be original if you're doing something make sure that you're doing it because of you and not nobody else be original and be you because if you don't then who else will